I'm watching Chris Hayes. And they played that clip that I played about from the Irish Prime Minister talking about the Cologne report, right. Cologne report and how uh, the church had pr uh, thwarted the investigation of the police into 19 pedophiles in the county of Cologne in Ireland. So Chris Hayes has these Catholics on, on his show. He oh. plays that clip for them. He asks them, so if you're so upset with the church, because these are, these are Catholics that are like, oh, nothing's changing, all the bishops who harbored the pedophiles, none of them are being uh, held to justice, and the Pope is also uh, to blame for this because he harbored pedophiles, he didn't take care of it, they haven't addressed the situation. So Chris Hayes asked the obvious question, hey, if you're so upset with the church, what the hell, why do you stay in it? Why don't you, there's plenty of churches, so here's, here's the first answer. What is the Catholic Church good for unless you believe the tomb was empty on Sunday, Jesus Christ is the risen Lord, and you want to get to heaven? Right. Like, that is what drew me back into the church. And it wasn't necessarily just a political conversation or, or, or a kind of indulgence in the intellect. It was, who am I? Who is he? And I want to be in his church, even with all these evil people that are in it or all these mediocre people that are in it like me okay i got three points to make about what he just said the first thing is i like how he did what we were just talking about he downplays the horror of what they did he goes i want to be part of god's church even if it has these evil people in it or a lot of mediocre people like me well child torturers <laughs> are not equivalent to mediocre people okay right. so if you're mediocre which you obviously have a mediocre mind he obviously does <laughs> right to be able to do the mental gymnastics required to stay in an institution that is being run by pedophiles with no and their harborers criminals right child torturers with no chance of it changing this is what they're upset about and he stays in it so that's a mediocre mind and to try to make that false equivalency well there's some evil guys there's mediocre people not the same thing Number two, he says, you know, what good is the church worth unless you believe that the tomb was empty on Sunday and that he's the risen Lord and you want to get to heaven? Well, well let's say you believe those things. What good is the church for? And there's lots of other ways. There's lots of other churches out there who believe that stuff, you know. The Episcopalians, right, they have a lot more singing and a lot less molesting. They believe in the you know, exact maybe same a, thing. Maybe a Unitarian. Unitarians basically just hang out at Denny's every Sunday for you. Right. They don't do anything. There's a lot of, on my point is, there's a lot of other ways, and it's bullshit for you to think that because of I believe in Jesus, I have to be part of this institution that systematically tortured children and then covered it up. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, uh, unless he likes the hats. I mean, unless he likes the hats. There, there are a lot of religions. Uh, you, you could be Baptist, Protestant, like you said, Episcopalian. Yes. You don't even have to go to church. You yeah. can just sort of like. You can still believe that. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't like. Uh, anyway, so here's. Uh, so they asked, though, there's a woman Catholic writer. She looks like a nun. She's not. And uh, she's upset with the church. He asked her, why do you stay? Here's what she says. Sure. Well, I went to Yale Divinity School, which is a Protestant seminary with a ton of Catholic students and Catholic faculty in it. And that gave me time, gave me years to figure out what it was that I loved about this church and what was distinctive. So, first of all, whenever somebody has to mention their Ivy League school that they attended, they're, they're an asshole and they're full of shit. Okay. So, right. that's, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's how she started. Oh, by the way, I went to Yale Divinity School, right. so and I know more about Jesus than poor people. Yeah. And people that go to Yale, I'm sure it's a great school. I know a lot of people that went to Harvard. They... They always say I went to school in Boston. That's just how they run oh, it. Oh, really? Uh, okay, well, she has a little bit more to say. Here she goes. And what hurts me about so many more traditional Catholics who claim to love the church is they have this very reductive view of Catholicism that says, well, it all comes down to how you believe, what you believe about sexual morality, when in fact, the beauty of this tradition is its sacramental theology and the sacramental theology that is the basis for this unparalleled social justice tradition. This is what makes this church beautiful. This is what makes this, this is what speaks to people, that Catholic imagination that we have that it really is unique about the tradition. Okay, okay so maybe she did go to Yale. I don't know what she just said. I, don't know. I have no idea. I went to Catholic school for 12 years. My uncle was a priest. I have no idea what she just said. But the, the reason why I'm a Catholic is because of the sacramental theology that is the basis of Really? If you have to do that kind of mental gymnastics, why not? It's because my point is, you know the church isn't changing. You know they're currently still harboring pedophiles and the people who did that are in positions of power. And and you still remain in that organization, you're part of the problem. You're giving your tacit approval because they know it doesn't have to change because they know people like you will never leave the church. And that's your fault. Now you're part of the problem. That's what I say. All right, here, 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 okay. here. There you go, very nice. Uh, or, or, or at least leave until 
Until they change all of the upper brass. That's what then, I'm saying. you can come back. Right? I like how she also says, you know, I was in Yale for... T- I, 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 I had many years to figure out what it was I loved about this church. Why? If you love something, do you have to sit down and figure out why? I mean, even, uh, even something... The first time I had Rocky Road, as confusing as it was, <laughs> I knew why I loved it. I, mean, I, I get what she's saying in terms of, like, that whole don't judge the whole thing by a few people. But I think that's the problem. If you go back to the Roach analogy, it's yeah, not a few it's people. It's not a few people. That's the issue. Right. And it's, it's, the, it's, it's the whole organization that actively covered it up for right, years. Right, right, years. Right. Exactly.